सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एक ऑफ इना सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट जियो फिगर्स फिश ब्रूडिंग सो जियो फिगर्स आर अ पॉपुलर पीसीज ऑफ सिगलेट फिश दैट आर नोन फॉर देयर वाइब्रेंट कलर्स एंड द इंटरेस्टिंग बिहेवियर सो ब्रूडिंग जियो फिगर्स कैन बी अ रिवॉर्डिंग एक्सपीरियंस फॉर द फिश कीपर्स बट इट रिक्वायर्स केयरफुल प्लानिंग एंड अटेंशन टू डिटेल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द की एक्सपेक्ट ऑफ ब्रीडिंग जियो फिगर्स इन एन एक्वेरियम सेटिंग So geophagus are substrate pond spawners which means that they lay their eggs on a flat surface such as a rock or a piece of slate so in the wild geophagus will dig a pit into the substrate to create a spawning site in an aquarium setting it is important to provide them with a suitable substrate such as the sand or fine gravel to mimic their natural environment so before attempting to breed geophagus it is also important to make sure that they are healthy and well conditioned This can be achieved by providing them with a variety diet of high quality food such as the live or the frozen food pellets and the flakes. It's also important to maintain the good water quality in the aquarium by performing the regular water changes and monitoring the water parameters. So to encourage the breeding behavior it is important to create the right environment condition in the aquarium. This include providing plenty of hiding spaces such as the caves or the plants for the fish to feel secure it's also important to maintain a stable water temperature of around 78 to 82 degree fahrenheit and a slightly acidic ph of around 6.5 to 7 when geophagus are ready to breed the male will typically begin to display courtship behavior towards the female this may include the flaring his fin displaying the vibrant colors and performing a courtship dance the female will then lay her eggs on a flat surface and the male will fertilize them by releasing her sperm over the eggs After the eggs have been fertilized both parents will take turn guarding the nest and fanning the eggs to ensure the proper oxygenation It is important to provide the parents with the plenty of food during this time to ensure that they have enough energy to care for the eggs and the fry The eggs will typically hatch within 3 to 4 days depending on the water temperature The fry will initially feed off their yolk sac but they will soon begin to swim freely and search for the food It's also important to provide them with the live food such as the baby brine shrimp or grass pellet to ensure that they receive the proper nutrition. So as the fry grow it's important to provide them with the plenty of hiding places and to separate them from adult to prevent the predation. It's also important to perform the regular water changes and monitor the water parameter to ensure that the fry are healthy and thriving. So breeding geophagus can be a challenging but rewarding experience for the fish keeper. by providing the right environment condition proper nutrition and attentive care you can successfully breed geophagus in your aquarium and enjoy watching the fascinating behavior of this beautiful fishes so this all information regarding how to breed geophagus fish in your home aquarium i hope this video will help you more videos are coming soon so please stay tuned to my channel